Middlesex entertained Essex on Thursday evening in their final Vitality T20 match of the season at Lords. David Milan's side would be looking to finish on a high for the victory against the Eagles, and after losing the toss, they were put into bat by Ryan Tendus Carter. And it wasn't the start they wanted when skipper Milan was caught by Adam Wheater from the bowling of Sam Cook for eight. But the informed Paul Sterling started to build an innings, hitting some fine shots. And at the other end, number three batsman John Simpson started fast as he hit the first six of the match. Sterling was starting to take control with some superb hands as he rushed to 25 from just 15 balls. And then he hits his first six of the match in the sixth over with a powerful slog back over the bowler's head. Sterling's 50 then came in the eighth over, the talented 27-year-old getting his half-century from 29 balls. However, in the following over, Middlesex lost their second wicket as Simpson went for 16, leaving his side 75 for two. New batsman Owen Morgan started brightly as he flicked away his first four of the match. The England one-day captain then blasted a six, taking his side to 93 in the 11th over. But his teammate Sterling was leading the charge as he continued to give the Eagles bowlers a difficult evening. Essex did finally get Sterling early in the 17th over. His impressive innings of 78 from 52 came to an end as Harmer took the catch off the bowling of Peter Siddle. Morgan was still at the crease though and he reached his 50 from 30 as he hit Siddle for four. Middlesex were finishing on a high and Morgan was leading this as he smashed two more consecutive sixes. And with the final ball, Morgan made it 210, taking his contribution to 77 and leading the host to their highest ever total at Lords, leaving them in a superb position to take victory. Essex opening batsman Adam Wheater started sharply in the hope of chasing down the large target. However, the bright start didn't last long as Wheater was sent back to the dugouts. Stephen Eskenazi taking a superb catch. New batsman Paul Walter didn't take long to get into the action, smashing a six over Finn's head in the fourth over, leaving Essex 32 for one. But Walter didn't last long as Finn picked up his second wicket as Milan took the catch. Number four, Dan Lawrence, wasn't hanging around as he hit a few early boundaries. Baron Chopra was settling in well as he took his side to 55 with a massive six. Lawrence was a man on a mission as he reached 39 from 17 balls with a finely timed six. The 21-year-old made it 50 off 24 at the halfway mark as the Eagles were 104 for two. However, the momentum was stopped in the 14th over when James Harris took the big wicket of Chopra, the batsman's knock ending at 51. But the danger man Lawrence was still there and he continued his superb performance. With four overs remaining and the Eagles needing 49 to win, Ravi Bapara showed his experience as he clipped a four-leg side. Lawrence was moving closer to his century as he climbed to 84 from 44 balls. But he was dismissed in the 18th over when Finn got the crucial wicket. 
into the final over of the match and with the game on a knife edge the visitors needed six runs for the win Ashar Zaidi took the pressure off his side as he found the boundary with the first ball and sure enough minutes later Zaidi hit the winning runs for his side giving them a well-deserved victory as they chased Middlesex's total of 210 down with four balls remaining.